The discussion about escalating new home ownership costs is widespread on social media, drawing my attention for a deeper exploration. As a decision maker in commercial real estate lending, I am aptly equipped to clarify this complex issue. The current predicament is largely due to a sequence of errors by uninformed leadership, characterized by a blend of naivete, short-sighted policies, and outright ignorance. With or without intent, the rationale was mind-boggling. During the global pandemic, economic activities were paused while the market was inundated with free money and incentives. This scenario distorted the economy as people waited at home for government checks, diverting attention from actual productivity. This period of economic inactivity led to significant devaluation of the currency, with long-term consequences still being overlooked by the current political elite. This situation worsened when political leaders excessively flooded the housing market with liquidity and significantly lowered interest rates. This intervention led to an artificial surge in property values, inflating a bubble that was driven by policy rather than genuine economic growth. When authorities tried to stabilize the market by raising interest rates, they acted too late and failed to consider that wage inflation was running a distant second to the inflated asset valuations caused by their policies. Consequently, this created a speculative bubble that emerged in a context devoid of real economic support. This flawed strategy echoes the historical missteps that preceded the economic depressions and crises of the past. By halting production and expecting prosperity, the outcome was akin to the disparity experienced during the 1970s oil crisis. Then, production shutdowns and misguided economic policies led to stagflation, which similarly eroded real income and economic stability. Currently, individuals who secured mortgages at historically low rates are reaping substantial benefits from inflation, which effectively reduces the real cost of their investments. On the flip side, construction companies face mounting pressures from rising labor and material costs. This surge widens the gap between the actual cost of building homes and what the market can bear, skewing prices unfavorably against the middle class. This situation represents a significant and troubling financial exploitation of the middle class, unlike anything seen in recent times. Nevertheless, there are still opportunities amidst the turmoil. Existing properties requiring renovation, particularly from sellers willing to subordinate equity, present viable investment prospects. This approach focuses on generating wealth through production, aiming to transform the current debacle into a historical footnote. Instead of despairing over the current state, we should critique the misguided notions of so-called economic experts and face the absurdity of our situation with a resolve to find practical solutions. In the chaos, there is potential for those ready to pursue ventures that offer substantial, real value beyond mere numerical inflation. Historically, our economic crisis is not unprecedented. Hyperinflation in countries like France, Germany, Greece, Yugoslavia, and Zimbabwe all stem from unchecked monetary expansion and poor economic governance, leading to devastating socioeconomic impacts. The current housing market instability echoes speculative bubbles like the South Sea bubble or the dot-com bubble, where initial exuberance was ultimately met with economic collapse due to a disconnect between speculation and intrinsic value. The current scenario, with its similarities to the Great Depression's policy-induced exacerbations, underscores the need for a fundamental shift in economic strategy. Sustainable growth and prosperity depend on principles of sound economic management rooted in historical insight. Emphasizing production and real value creation over financial engineering can guide us out of this quagmire. Adopting a philosophy that prioritizes wealth through productive endeavors rather than through speculative financial maneuvers aligns with historical lessons and provides a roadmap for genuine economic stability and prosperity. By anchoring our strategies in the wisdom of the past, we can avoid repeating these mistakes and pave the way toward a future marked by genuine economic growth and stability.